The dinner scene in Episode 5 of Shogun exemplifies the show's skillful blend of intense violence and subdued drama. Throughout the series, mealtime discussions serve as a vehicle to delve into underlying tensions and character growth. For instance, John Blackthorne's willingness to try Natto in Episode 4 showcases his openness to new experiences, earning him respect for Mariko and Fuji. These scenes also underscore the ritual significance of food and its role in both resolving and instigating dramatic conflicts. The sake scene exemplifies how Shogun utilizes intimate moments to unveil suppressed emotions and interpersonal differences among characters. In a palpably tense encounter, Mariko, John, Buntaro, and Fuji gather to sample Blackthorn's cooking, leading to a competitive drinking match between Buntaro and John, fueled by their silent rivalry for Mariko's affection. The tension escalates due to linguistic barriers and social norms, heightening the discomfort. What makes this scene memorable is its sudden transition to darkness and violence. Provoked by John, a drunken Buntaro narrowly misses Mariko with two arrows, putting her life at risk. This starkly illustrates how, in Shogun's world, danger lurks constantly, keeping characters and viewers perpetually on edge. If the show were solely focused on battle sequences, this sense of jeopardy would diminish. The unpredictability of violence adds layers of suspense throughout the series, making it all the more gripping. Numerous historical dramas have thrived by prominently featuring intense violence. For instance, shows like The Last Kingdom and Vikings glorify their main characters' brutal tendencies, often centering their plots around major battles or confrontations. In contrast, Shogun takes a distinct approach. Rather than sensationalizing the graphic violence of its setting, the series portrays it as an accepted aspect of life, not something to be sensationalized but rather acknowledged as a reality for its characters. This approach not only enriches Shogun's storyline but also adds depth. While the overarching narrative naturally includes depictions of conflict as a primary means of resolution in 17th century Japan, the emphasis on quieter, Conversational moments lends the characters a humanity often lacking in similar series. Excessive violence can sometimes render a story and its characters overly exaggerated and disconnected from genuine human experiences. Shogun, however, feels authentic and relatable, achieved through its balanced portrayal of action and introspection. So there you have it all. Do share your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe for more. I will see you next.